The best MMO mobile strategy war game is turning six this month. Hey guys, this is Heretic, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the 2021 year in review event in game and go over my journey to War and Order. So let's get started. To get to the new event, you click the six that's on the cake here, and you'll see six happy birthday, and you'll see the dragon flying around a cake. We have uh, four events on the calendar here. Angel's arrival, um, that's still in effect. Basically, it is one where where you uh, you get points for just playing the game, basically. There's a lot of different quests, and you get points for those, and you can get some prizes along the way. You can also get these um, wands that allow you to open up kind of chests that are nice. Um, we had the Power of Angels, which was a really cool quest as well. It's one of those where you can kill monsters and you get items and you can use those items to convert them to tokens to cards and then you can buy stuff with them they had azurite on at this time which is the first time i've seen azurite as a, a reward something that you can actually purchase in those types of events um, now we have the 2021 year in review and that's kind of what we're going to focus on today and we have coming up coming soon in a couple days is the camel growing up event which hasn't started yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the year in review and it, it will kind of go over, you know, your account in the game. So my castle was built on September 16th, 2021. I have become the castle's lord and call myself Heretic Sierra. Yes, that's me. Um, it's been 124 days. So if I click here, it'll go to the next page in the book. Beast arrival, <laughs> I call it Phoenix. Um, <laughs> Uh, time is flying by. It's level 19. I think I actually hit level 20 today. I have defeated a total of 5.3 million enemy troops and have burned, you know, 3,000 something times. I've gotten the uh, Apollo's bow was the first relic that I got, the first artifact. I have all 12 zodiacs. Yes. It says I've been in, this one's basically your alliance. Uh, it says I've been in here for 21 days, but we actually merged a few times. So we've been CRE from day one, but we merged into other alliances. So we've been in the current one for 21 days. After an, enduring 12 elite wars, yes, we've won, we've played a lot of elite wars and it's been a lot of fun. I love that event. Um, I've been a, I've been king here. I've been luck, lucky enough to be king. We've won crown on this alliance a lot. Realm invasion. I think it's not here yet. We'll have that soon, I hope. Savage land, same thing. We haven't gotten it yet. We'll get it soon, I hope. Storm the fortress, same thing. We're actually getting this this week. I think tomorrow night. Void Wars. I think Void Wars will come up soon. Glorious Exploits. I'm castle level 32. I have 5.6 million power. I will continue to devote myself to never giving up. True. War and Order have entered its 6th anniversary. I've already spent 124 days. May the flames of order never die out. It's really cool. All right, so that's the you know the year in review calendar that you'll have. For you, it'll be different, especially if you're in an older realm. Uh, you'll see a lot more there, a lot more stats, be a lot bigger. Then you come to this page, which is really cool. I really like it. It has the the little um, QR code at the bottom, and if you click that, it actually takes you to update update the game. All right, and you can click here and it'll actually add this to your album so that you can go back and look at it. You can share it with your friends so they can be linked to you, okay? So about me, so real quick. So what, how did I end up here? I've been an avid gamer my entire life. I started programming my own games 
at 12, and I've worked in software since I was in college. I've played many PC games, and I've mostly been in the MMO genre because I really like the social aspects of gaming, especially when you have a large group and you have something like a raid or a PvP or something that you do together. I really like that. That's what I like about gaming, period. Mobile gaming is something that I really got into for the, in the last six or seven years because it's so easy to juggle gaming with other aspects of my life like kids and work and family and friends and having fun and enjoying life with mobile gaming you can do that you can take it with you wherever you go you can play it for a little while you can set it down it's what i love about mobile gaming i've played most of the games in this genre and and i've played some of them for a long time i played war and order uh, I started playing War and Order maybe four or five years ago, actually. I played it for a little while. I got into my into the 20s, and now I've, I've decided, you know, like 124 days ago, I actually decided to, to check it out again. Um, it didn't take very long after, after I got back into to the game to see all of the updates and get completely addicted to the game and bring over all my friends. So I really appreciate it. It would be nothing, you know, without my friends here like Renoa, Mango, Dog, Grim, and Jess, and, and all of these guys who I've played games with for a long time, and then all the people that I've met here in 1402 that have been great to play with and who are good friends now. So one of the many things that sets War and Order apart from other games in this genre is the fact that there's almost weekly updates. I think I counted 50 updates in 2021 and these updates aren't just buy new stuff right it's not like you get an artifact and then one two three months later that artifact is worthless that's not what war and order is about that's not going to happen here you get your you know you spend money in the game and that investment carries on with you it's not something that you're just gonna, you know, have to replace again in, in the near future. So that was one of the, the big selling points, um, you know, to play the game, other than the interface is great, the, the, um, all of the events are really cool to play and interesting and different, so they're not all the same. So super interesting. I really look forward to this next year you know, there's a lot of events, as you saw, that we haven't even done yet, you know, that are coming, like Void Wars, uh, Fortress Wars, all of these different events, the Savage Lands, all these new things, plus everything else that Camel has in store for us this year. So I'm really excited. Uh, I hope you, you know, if you haven't already started playing War and Order, I'm going to leave a link in the description. You know, you can download the game. I'm on 1402, but go, you know, find the, the realm that works for you. Have fun, enjoy the game. Let me know how it went for you. All right, take care, guys.